Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. A uh, little bit of a different treat for you on this review of this new product that we're about to talk about. Usually it's Ryan sitting next to me. Uh, this time I actually got some of the big semi-big wigs from the company <laughs> to come out here and uh, actually talk about it. So I have John and John. Hold your jokes till the end. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, yeah, <laughs> nice having you guys out. Uh, so what do we got? Well, we're here today to uh, show you the uh, new Crucial MX500 SSD. This is our new SATA SSD. It's mm -hmm. going to be available in both 2.5 and M.2 configurations. Capacity starting at 250, ranging up to 2 terabytes. Okay. Uh, it is a brand new offering from us. It's based on our newest generation 3D NAND. So it's 64 layer okay. uh, 3D TLC NAND. Uh, it enables some really unique new features in this drive. So not only are we pulling forward a lot of the features from the MX series of the past, mm -hmm. things like uh, things like encryption and uh, power uh, data protection, we're also uh, bringing a new feature of power loss immunity uh, to the table. Now, you, that sounds really familiar. That sounds even better than power loss protection. Power loss protection, right. Power loss immunity is a new variant to that. And okay. uh, it's enabled by some new technology in our NAND. So better capacitors? What is it? Well, actually, no capacitors. We're pulling some of those features into the NAND itself. And, and John will explain that in a bit more detail here in a moment. OK. Uh, cool. Uh, what happened to MX400? Well, you know, that's an interesting story. Uh, the, uh, the, the MX400, uh, we had some feedback from certain parts of the world that uh, the that 400 sounded a little bit like a word we didn't want it to sound like in certain parts of the world. Uh, that, happens, other that happens a lot. <laughs> and so we flashed forward to the MX500. So, Chevy Nova. <laughs> okay, uh, got it. It, uh, it kind of synchronizes really nice with our five-year warranty that we just added to this product, that's too. A, that's uh, a good point. Big uh, uh, new addition to yeah, the Yeah, previ previously they were three years, right? Right, right. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what about that uh, it's this power loss immunity thing, John? So we call it power loss immunity. And what it is basically is taking that functionality that we used to rely on capacitors to provide the enough energy to protect your data when your power goes away unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. And we bring that feature, that function, into the NAND itself. We do that with some hardware inside the, uh, the component itself, but also we change kind of the the order in which we do some of the programming of actual bits in in the uh, in the NAND array, okay. so we can we can manipulate how we change things to do things a little bit more efficiently. We have some additional hardware inside the chip itself that helps in this protection mode, and that allows us to get rid of some other additional hardware on the card itself, uh, providing us more space to put more components, more actual storage components, as opposed to having. Uh, capacitors on, or additional capacitors on the board. Okay. So, I mean, are there like, are there any capacitors at all? Or is it just no? There will always be a few capacitors, but okay. there won't be banks of capacitors like we've had in the past. Basically, just like your input filter capacitor, whatever kind yeah, of absolutely. thing you would have, and but not, but not a whole, you know, large bank of them. That absolutely. You can, yeah, that you, you can see. Uh, I mean, electronics are electronics, mm -hmm. so there's always going to be capacitors and even a few inductors every now and then. Yeah. But um, but we're able to, through, through the uh, additional technology that we have in our second generation uh, 3D NAND, uh, take that function away from those additional capacitors that right. we've traditionally had on our cards. Which is cool, right? It just it's, uh, sounds like you know, at any given moment, there's not that much else that needs to be done to write some data. Correct. Right, so that if the power just does unexpectedly go away, then... Yep, it didn't have a whole lot to do, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You you require by by changing the sequencing in which we do those programs, you require less energy in order to protect the data that's already been stored, and so you still require some energy, and that's what we do internal to the chip. Mm -hmm. But we don't need milliseconds of it. We just probably need much less than that, cool. less than what we had before. All right. Um, so you mentioned TLC, mm -hmm. and uh, like the, the predecessor to this drive, which was right. MX300, was also a TLC drive, right. but it had a SLC cache. Right. Uh, same thing? 
Well, this has an SLC cache. Uh, we implemented dynamic write acceleration. Mm -hmm. It's configured a little bit differently. Some of the things that uh, we can do, John mentioned uh, some changes to the NAND and, and some of the ways that we're addressing the NAND, it, it's a little bit different. And we believe that we have a more efficient configuration here mm -hmm. uh, that allows uh, for most common tasks that the user is performing, uh, this drive's gonna stay in that SLC NAND uh, almost all the time. And so it's going to deliver great performance in everyday computing tasks. Uh, it's going to deliver great performance in, in most uh, situations, regardless of what the user is doing, whether that's uh, using productivity applications or uh, even creating content, uh, they should get that great SLC performance profile most of the time. Cool, cool. That sounds good. Um, yeah, I mean, we tested MX three hundred. That did great. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I guess uh, probably just typical generational performance improvements here. Yep. yep. Like yep. we're not we're not expecting a spectacular. It's, it's right. serial well, ACA. Yeah. Yeah. It only goes so fast. So exactly. So <laughs> you know we all know that, uh, that we've been at near SATA saturation for a few generations now, and so right. there will be some incremental performance improvements. Okay. Uh, and I think this is going to be a drive that delivers a great. Uh, uh, price performance ratio in that kind of mainstream of the market. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our users have told us uh, that they really expect certain features out of an MX class drive, a mainstream drive. We're delivering those here, and we are delivering incremental better performance. Uh, one of the other things I'm used to. I'm used to our readers expecting out of an MX drive is the very competitive price. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and this delivers on that front too. All so right, so we have a one terabyte drive there. How much right. is that guy? That will come to market at around two fifty nine. Okay. So uh, if you think about six cents a gig, yeah, yeah that we're, that, and that's the like just list price just to launch. That's the list right? price. As as we've uh, discussed in the past, the market kind of has a mind of its own, right? That's so, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, even, even we've seen drives in the past that have had maybe even similar, or maybe a little higher cost per gig. Right. Um, but lately, over the past year, those prices have crept up. They have. Uh, so it's good to see, kind right. of refreshing to see something launch now in this market, right. where the price is like, okay, this is what we're right. shooting for. Right. Hopefully, yeah. the market actually does that. You know? And a lot of those efficiencies uh, of this new NAND are allowing us to deliver this great balance of price and performance. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's coming from Kershaw. You guys are Micron. Micron's you're making your own flash, right? Right. Um, controller is it? Uh, it was Marvell in the past, right? This is an SMI twenty two fifty eight. Okay. Uh, so a uh, change there, uh, but uh, really well matched from a performance and feature standpoint to those MX uh, class features. Yeah, I mean, SMI controllers have always been. You could basically plug any NAND into any type of NAND into them, and they mm -hmm. just you know. They're a third party, right? They just design their controller to work with as much as they can possibly make it compatible with. Right, them. right. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I mean, I think we've I think we covered the round of it. All right. So uh, this video should be attached to a review of this product. We These guys literally just showed up like, <laughs> like an hour ago. Uh, so we don't have results yet, unfortunately, to talk about. But uh, we will in the review. Um, so check out the review and... Uh, We'll see you guys later.